your Storm Tracker team forecast with Danielle Uliano. It was another steamy day out there for this Sunday afternoon. Highs topped off in the mid 90s. Right now, though, temperatures have dropped just a little bit. 92 degrees out there feels like 97 degrees across the capital city this evening. Winds out of the northeast. A little breezy today, you may have noticed. It felt like a very nice breeze as I was walking around today. Winds out of the northeast at 13 miles per hour. Temperatures across southeast Louisiana, 92 degrees here in Baton Rouge, 90 in the Hammond area, 90 in New Orleans. Notice it's a little cooler in the Homa and Bell Chase area, 82, 84 degrees. They are seeing some showers and storms in those coastal parishes, which is keeping their temperatures just a little on the cooler side. You feel like temperatures over the next 24 hours are going to drop down in the 70s overnight, and then by tomorrow, they're going to climb right again into the feel like Temperatures triple digits right around 100 degrees is what it's going to feel like outside. And the temperatures are going to continue to climb over the next few days. But the good news is a frontal system is going to move through Thursday into Friday and drop our temperatures back down to our seasonal average. Friday 90, Saturday 89, Sunday 88. It's going to be a pretty good weekend. But before we get there, the next four days, it's going to be very hot, very humid. We need to make sure we're prepared for that as well. So heat safety is a must this week. These are the showers and storms I was telling you about right on this coastal parish is keeping those areas at cooler temperatures in the 80s. Most of us, though, north of that, cloud cover kind of tops off there and kind of stops at the 10-12 corridor. Most of us will stay dry over the next 24 to 48 hours through this period here. So we'll take you hour by hour tomorrow right around the lunch hour. This is noon for your Monday. Mostly sunny skies in the Baton Rouge metro area. But if you head further south, those coastal parishes, that's when you see that cloud layer and those isolated rain chances, and that kind of sticks with them. You head into your Tuesday afternoon. This is Tuesday at 12 p.m. as well. Most of those showers have moved off to the west, closer to the Jennings Lafayette area, but most of us still remaining dry, especially north of the I-10-12 corridor. Most of the shower activity continues to push west. That's associated with that tropical wave in the Gulf that's not going to affect us here in Baton Rouge. So we are definitely cranking up the heat. Late week frontal system, that's going to cool our temperatures back down to our seasonal average and then that tropical wave in the Gulf. Let us, let's talk about that tropical wave. So again, this is a shower activity. It's not organized right now, just an unorganized cluster of thunderstorms at this time, kind of skimming parts of Mississippi and parts of the Louisiana coast, but it's expected to move due west and kind of make landfall somewhere along the Texas coastline, not necessarily developing into anything. It only has a 10% chance of development in the next two days and the next five days, so very low chance of development with that system in the Gulf. Now we make our way over to the Atlantic here, and this system does have a high chance of development. A 30% chance in the next two days and an 80% chance in the next five days. It's still pretty far away, but it is expected to reach tropical depression strength by midweek, so we'll continue to watch that one. And then we have Tropical Storm Umberto continuing to gain strength, winds 70 miles per hour, almost to that Category 1 hurricane strength, and it's expected to do that by tomorrow, but it's expected to move away from the U.S. mainland, so not affecting us here at this time and not anywhere near the northern Gulf Coast, which is good for us as well. That seven-day forecast shows those temperatures continuing to climb over the next few days. 97 degrees on your Wednesday there. It's going to be hot. It's going to be humid. Make sure you practice those heat safety tips. Each day you have about a 20 to 30 percent chance to see showers. And guys, that's mainly south of the I-10-12 corridor, closer to those coastal parishes. It's not until Friday and Saturday that we elevate those rain chances ever so slightly. Due to that frontal system that's going to come through, it's also going to drop our temperatures. So we're heading into a nice weekend. And remember, you can always catch us on the radio. We partnered up with iHeart Radio, Baton Rouge, to get your weather on the go. Well, I definitely like to see that. A little bit of rain in the forecast. Yeah, so we ought to make it through the next few days. It's hot, it's humid, mm -hmm. but there is a light at the end of the tunnel, so just hunker on through. Very well said. All right, All right, thanks so much. There's also a light at the end of the tunnel, I believe, coming up in sports. We've got Chessa, who's going to be back to tell us what's going on with the Saints game. That's next here on NBC Local 33 News.